Hello everyone. Welcome to today's session on the 8085 microprocessor essential lab practical viva and questions answers. Presented by myself Dr. Kedi Gaikwad. Before diving into the questions, let's quickly revise the basics. The 8085 microprocessor is an 8-bit microprocessor developed by Intel, widely used in many embedded systems and microcontroller applications. It has an 8-bit data bus and a 16-bit address bus, which allows addressing 64 kilobyte of memory. The microprocessor also operates on 5 volt power supply. This presentation covers the essential lab viva questions and their answers to help you and understand its architecture, functionality, programming to prepare and enhance your knowledge and master the concepts of 8085 microprocessor. The key features The 8085 features a simple architecture, 5 registers and an arithmetic logic unit that is ALU. It operates on 3.1 MHz clock frequency and supports interrupts and making it versatile for various applications in computing and control systems. Basic instruction overview. The 8085 microprocessor has set of 74 instructions categorized into data transfer, arithmetic, logical control and branching instructions. Understanding these instructions is essential for writing effective assembly language program and performing tasks efficiently. And there are certain addressing modes also. So addressing modes in the 8085 microprocessor define how the operands of the instructions are accessed and key modes include immediate addressing mode, direct addressing mode, register addressing mode and indirect addressing mode. So each mode has its unique application and understanding them is a vital for effective programming. So now let's start with some fundamental questions. First of all, what are the various registers in 8085? So 8085 has the following registers that is accumulator first A, then B, C, D, E, H, L and all are 8 bit registers. And next the stack pointer. It is a 16 bit and program counter is also 16 bit. Now the next question is name the 16 bit registers in 8085. So therefore the 16 bit registers are the stack pointers and the program counter. Now what is the function of the accumulator in 8085? The accumulator is an 8 bit register that stores the result of arithmetic and logical operations. What are the flags in 8085? The flags are 5 flags of 8085 and these are sign flag, zero flag, auxiliary carry flag, parity flag and carry flag. Now the next question is explain the function of the program counter. The program counter holds the address of the next instruction to be executed. Now next question is what are the interrupts in 8085? The interrupts in 8085 are INTR, RST 7.5, RST 6.5, RST 5.5 and the final is TRAP. This is a non-maskable interrupt. Now what is the clock frequency of 8085? The clock frequency of 8085 is 3 MHz for the standard version of 8085. Now what is mean by or what is the use of stack pointer? The stack pointer is basically used to point to the top of the stack where the temporary data stored. Now let's go into slightly detail about the 8085 and the questions are what is the size of the data bus in 8085? The size of the data bus is 8 bit and what is the size of address bus? The address the size of address bus is 16 bit and allowing it to address 64 KB of memory. Now what is the function of ALE in 8085? The ALE, the full form of ALE is address latch enable. This is a signal is used to demultiplex the address and data bus. 
नेक्स्ट क्वेश्चन इज वॉट इज द फंक्शन ऑफ एस आई डी एंड एस ओ डी पिन इन एट जीरो एट फाइव द एस आई डी पिन दैट इज सीरियल इनपुट डेटा इज यूज फॉर सीरियल इनपुट एंड एस ओ डी दैट इज सीरियल आउटपुट डेटा इज यूज फॉर सीरियल आउटपुट वॉट इज ट्रैप इन एट जीरो एट फाइव द टी आर ए पी दैट इज ट्रैप इज अ नॉन मास्केबल इंटरप्ट विद द हाइएस्ट प्रायोरिटी सो दिस इंटरप्ट हैज द हाइएस्ट प्रायोरिटी नेक्स्ट क्वेश्चन इज वॉट इज द फंक्शन ऑफ होल्ड एंड एच एल डी ए पिन इन एट जीरो एट फाइव द होल्ड इज यूज बाय अदर डिवाइसेज टू रिक्वेस्ट कंट्रोल ऑफ द सिस्टम बस एंड एच एल डी ए दैट इज होल्ड एक्नोलॉज इज सेंड बाय द एट जीरो एट फाइव टू ग्रैंड द रिक्वेस्ट नाउ वॉट आर आर एस टी इंस्ट्रक्शन सो आर एस टी मीन्स दैट इज रिस्टार्ट इंस्ट्रक्शन आर सॉफ्टवेयर इंटरप्ट यूज टू कॉल अ सब रूटीन एट predefined memory locations now what is the function of in and out instructions the in instruction reads the data from an input output port and the out instruction writes the data to an out input output port now explain the difference between move and mvi instruction so move is used to move the data register while mvi is used to move immediate data to a register what is the difference between call and return instructions so call instruction transfers control to a subroutine and a return instruction returns control to the calling program now what is the stack in 8085 the stack is a block of memory used for temporary storage of data what is microprocessor so it is a very basic question uh, may be asked in your oral examination so microprocessor is a programmable device that takes input processes it based on its instruction and provides the output so what is an instruction set so instruction set is a group of commands that a microprocessor can execute now next question is what is machine cycle a machine cycle is the time required to complete one operation such as memory read or write now next is explain memory map input output in memory map input output input output devices are treated as memory location and the microprocessor uses memory instruction to communicate with them the next question is what is the use of sim and rem instruction the sim that is set interrupt mask is used to mask hardware interrupts and rem that is read interrupt mask is used to read the status of the interrupts now the next question is what is the role of a timing diagram in 8085 so the role of timing diagram is used to represent the exact sequence of control signals memory and registers during instruction execution what is t states a t state is a clock period during which a small part of the operation is carried out and this what is flag register the flag register contains status flag that indicates the outcome outcome of arithmetic and logical operations and there are five red five flag registers that is carry auxiliary carry parity zero flag so these are the five flags now what are the addressing modes in 8085 this is very important question in the viva book in practical examination of microprocessor so there are five addressing modes that is immediate addressing mode direct addressing mode register addressing mode indirect addressing mode and finally that is implied addressing mode so before we conclude remember that understanding the architecture instruction set and interrupt system is crucial for excelling in the viva make sure to practice these questions and understand the concepts behind them to excel in the lab lab viva on 8085 focusing on the understanding concepts rather than rote memorization practice coding clarify doubts and engage in discussion with the peers
confidence and clarity will help you impress your evaluators so that's all for today's session i hope this help clarify some important topics for your 8085 microprocessor viva and make sure to revise these questions and you will be prepared good luck and all the best for your practical examination thank you